It's time for RSVP, Erica, and with you, and I'm going to ask my lovely assistant, Steve McCauley from Capitol Records, to help me out on this. Thanks very much, oh, Steve. Oh, no problem. What am Steve, I doing? You brought the band with you? Yes. They're here? Yes, Rock they are. Rockstead is in the building? Yes. Ooh. Okay. So first of all, pull that out and see what's in there. And in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, I will pull this out and see. Oh, they love you. The girls love you, Steve. Hi, out there. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for coming down here. Can we have special guest Rockstead here? Welcome. Thank you. So I heard that one out of every nine Canadians owns a Rockstead album. Oh yeah? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, it's been a great couple of years. Yeah. So why, why is Canada such a strong market for Rockstead? The strongest aside from where you come from? You tell us. I don't know. I mean, it's, it seems like it. Canada seems to be a little bit more European than, for instance, America, so, you know, it's good. We are, we're having a really good time in Europe as well, so nobody knows, you know. Radio places, you play it here a lot, and people love it. When you play live here in Canada, is, is the reaction different than back at home? No, it's fantastic. It's been great so far. So, all shows here have been fantastic. I was reading that you have a... Um, a, 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 an affinity for little sayings, and there was one in particular, don't bore us, get to the, the chorus. chorus. Yeah. Is that your philosophy in songwriting? Yeah, that was a discussion we had with our American manager, and both of us hate 12 inch remix record, you know. We would say that was the big motto, don't bore us, get to the chorus. But what is interesting is that you must understand, maybe just inherently, maybe not consciously, the key to successful songwriting. And I wonder if that could be the key to our success. I don't know. I, I guess. I mean, what we're doing basically is, is we're trying to put take the best part of the 60s and the early 70s and put them into the 90s, because you know? that's where we have, have our roots. And uh, it's no big deal, really. We just write a lot of songs, you know. And people like it. <laughs> I don't know why. You talk about the roots of your music, and obviously the real roots are in Sweden, where I initially met you. When someone listens to a Rockstead album, any Rockstead album that's out right now, is there any clues or any hints, be it musically or lyrically, that you are from Sweden? Uh, no, not really. I, I think we're, I mean, like I said, we were raised from 60s and 70s, and basically it was British and American music, so our, our inspiration is basically, you know, the, the British and the American, you know, the birds, you know, Compete, Tito, King. Okay, we have phone calls now? Ah, we have phone calls. People have been calling in and they're going to ask you questions. Be nice. Uh, this is, I'm sure they will. Oh, where'd you get that? I got it from Marie. She did it oh. last night. <laughs> nice. Fan. Mm -hmm. done this for us. That's beautiful. And what is, is it for a pillow case? I think so, yeah. That's very nice for your tour. You and tour bus, or what do you, how do you travel around? We travel with right. yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have Benny is on the phone from, is it Winnipeg? Yeah, Alberta. Alberta. Benny, hello? Hello? Hello. Hi, um, I would like to know how long it took you, uh, to, uh, uh, learn from, I can't hear what, Benny, hold on a sec, we're just going to put this up a little louder because we couldn't hear you. Hold on. Uh, uh, all right, want to try it again? Okay. Um, I'd like to know how Rob said, um, got to know Swedish to American, how long it took us. Ah. How long you, it took you to, to learn the English language? Ah. Yeah. Well, we had to, to learn English in school. We start very early. It's our second language. So uh, we've been using English since I was we were 10, 11 years old, something like that. It's interesting, actually, as I travel around the world, I find that most people have to learn English yeah. in their early years of school. Yeah. Yeah. It's very helpful. Yeah. Because, um, kurz, your language is only used in a very small part of the world. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And also, we, we don't, like in Germany, for instance, they have all this overdubbing on television, for instance. You know, Clint Eastwood speaks German, you know. We don't have that in Scandinavia. We have some type, so you hear the English language all the time, which is good, you know. Benny, thank you very much for calling. Okay, Linda, are you there? I'm here. Hello, Linda. You're from Thornhill? Just down the road. All right, tell us what you'd like to hear from Rockstead. 
Okay, um, Sarah? Yeah. Um, I really like your music and your videos. And I was wondering, um, there's certain kind of live videos that you did. Where were they filmed? Is that in London? Dies ist eigentlich eine Verankerung in das Bewusstsein der Menschen. Es wird suggeriert, dass Impfung unvermeidlich sind. Da kamen wir zu der Frage, wozu dieses Corona Es gibt immer noch keine Epidemie. Nach zwei Monaten kam es zu Eine Epidemie darf man also erst nennen. Wenn 5% der Bevölkerung eine Pandemie kommt überhaupt nicht in Frage. Allerdings gibt es eine globale Pandemie des Psychoterrors. Aufgrund von Angst wird man mit der großen Gruppen Die Weltregierung braucht nicht mehr Geld als 500 um, my question is to Marie. Uh, we always see a ring on your left hand, and we always wonder if oh, you oh, oh, yes, so yes, so you you're engaged. For how long have you been engaged? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's about two months. Well, you got her the blood. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that I'd get her. So and also, wait, wait, hey, we got to find out who it is. What do you, so who is it? Wir fahren jetzt durch Bis Ende Juli werden wir mehrere Impfstoffe haben, was vor einigen Monaten noch eine mögliche Bedrohung für die Welt war, ist jetzt also zur Realität geworden. Jeder Impfstoff ist nach wie vor ein Medikament, das als Allheilmittel, als Rettung, als Lösung erwartet wird. Aber jeder Impfstoff, und man muss kein Mediziner sein, um das zu verstehen, muss einige Jahre getestet und geprüft werden, bevor man es Kindern und Erwachsenen verabreicht. Und wenn solche dann sind es bereits Wenn der Impfstoff nicht getestet die Verfassung der russischen Federation jegliche Daraus entsteht die Frage, was in der Gegenwart ist. Hallo. Was die Menschen in den nächsten ein bis zwei Monaten tun können, um ihre Angehörigen zu schützen. Unsere Vorbereitungen können eine gute Selbstorganisation Genauso wie sie sich darauf vorbereiten, uns dazu zu bringen, unsere Kinder und Kinder zu lassen, was eine langsame Ausbildung bedeutet, müssen wir uns vorbereiten. Selbstorganisation kann heutzutage nicht in jedem einzelnen Leben in jedem 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 Le
Thanks very much for calling. Good one, yeah. Thanks very much, Aaron. And uh, next up, we have Ron from Prince George. <laughs> Hello, Ron. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> um, I had a question for you guys. When you go into the studio, um, who decides what voice is used for the track, like for instruments, keyboard, guitar? And how do you know that it's too busy sounding or it's getting to that point where there's too much music happening? So basically, who does the arrangement in the band? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, more or less. Yeah, I mean, we have a set of bands, the core of the position that we were used to make today. Now, the same guys we have on, on the tour with us. But then, uh, who's going to sing what? It doesn't matter of what kind of song it is. You know, basically, when I demo a song in the first place, you know, it's always like, this, this will be, this is custom written for Marie, this is Marie's voice. Like, it must have been love written, which I can't really sing because it's a really hard song to sing. So, so the look, for instance, was firstly written for Marie, but it didn't sound good at all. It's basically a guy song. So, so I wound up singing this now. And who, who does, when you're in the studio, who actually does the yeah. arrangement? For 30, 40 years, we have a body that is outside. Yeah, it's kind of a big team. I mean, our producer, Freya, myself, and our guitar player, Jonas, as a And uh, the musicians that we are using on tour as well. And it's, uh, we work together like a family. Mm -hmm. You've been close. together for how long now? It's eight to six. Eight to six. That's, That's a long time. Thank you very much for calling, and now we have Diana from Calgary. Diana, hello, are you there? Diana, testing one. Oh, hello? Hi. Hello, you don't know how loud it is in here. Hello, <laughs> Diana. What would you like to know? Yes, I was wondering, out of all the songs that Roxette, Roxette made, what was their favorite one? Oh, favorite song? Yeah. Uh, well, this depends on what kind of mood you're in. Um, Right now, my favorite song is Perfect Day, because it's, uh, it's a very, very nice melody, and I love the lyrics. Never said that one. Sometimes it's the look when you are in a party. Good. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, It Must Have Been Love is a great ballad. It's one probably the best song I've ever written, I think. Good questions, you guys. Thanks very much for calling. That's, that's real great. Teaching me a little trick or two in the art of interviewing, I think. <laughs> Uh, one last question I would like to ask you is when you're on stage, as you have been for night after night for the past eight months, what do you think about? Do you concentrate on the songs or are you thinking about what you're going to have for a dinner? No, it's well, it's, you know, it's, it's you know, so interesting. You, you have the audience all the time. You, you get so much energy from the audience. and it's, uh, You are totally concentrate on the songs and, and what you do. You can't think of anything else. I think about the dinner, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the same as Marie. I mean, you, you, the audience are different from night after night. You know, it's, it's never really the same. And the song sounds different. The band sounds different. It has to be. It's a concentrate. Those two hours on stage feels like ten minutes afterwards. And it's just like it's gone. It's a lot of concentration. Yeah, I always wonder that is when I see a show because. I think about how you must have sung this song a million uh, times already, yeah, yeah. and don't you ever get sick of it? Yes. <laughs> I think tonight is the 70th show on the tour. You know, it's just like, and we're doing 20 songs every night. So it must be like 1,400 songs played so far on the tour. So when does your tour end? And you go to Montreal tomorrow, and then yeah, what? Then we go to New York, and uh, we have, I think, about 10 shows more to go. We end in Mexico City. That's not too bad. And of March. Okay. But then we take a short break and go to South America for 15 shows. And then we have a short break and go to 25 shows in Europe over the summer season. Open air shows. So the tour stops in August, September next this year. So it's a year on the road, yeah. Well, it's a pleasure having you here again. Always a pleasure being here. And when you come back, come here. They'll be Absolutely. here. We will. And we'll open yeah. up the phone lines again. This is okay. Rod Set. This is Church of the Heart on Much. Have a great show tonight. Thank, Thank you. you.